Good day, and here we are with one flew over the eagle's nest. I mean, uh, uh, the eagle has landed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're about to play is a level that is based upon the epic, epic World War II movie that is not based on anything historical, uh, Where Eagles Dare. Now, I only saw that movie, uh, just a couple of years ago, and you know what? Where, Eag Where Eagles Dare is an absolutely kick-ass movie. That's a movie, that's one of, uh many of uh, Clint Eastwood's uh, World War II roles. Clint Eastwood uh, is an absolutely epic actor. And you know what I love? He actually said something that I really thought was cool. Smashy smashy! Uh, I thought was really cool. And that was... Uh, he said that this is a pussy generation, and you know what? He is entirely right. And I love it! I love it, I love it when people are like, that is me! How could he say that? Uh, well, he, he basically just proved his point right there when you say that. Uh, but anyway. Oh, we got more stuff. And usually these little, uh, little things are, have a little bit of dark humor in them. Very cool. Very cool indeed. The early 2000s was truly the greatest generation of video games. But anyway, Where Do You Dare basically is Wolfenstein the movie. Just, there's no, uh, well, you could say that. Because in the very first episode of, in the very first episode, in the very first scene of the movie, uh, the Krauts show up, and to any German fans, I have German ancestry, so I can say Krauts. That is allowed. It is allowed. Uh, my great, great grandfather uh, came from Germany, so therefore I have German ancestry, meaning I can call him the Krauts. Did I activate that or not? I don't remember. Uh, I think I just did now, but I don't think I did. Then. But anyway. Uh, the crowd show up at uh, Schloss, Schloss Adler, is what it was called. And, uh, yeah, I turned it on. Okay, there we go. At the Schloss... Man, I can't pronounce any of that stuff right. I know it's terrible, but you just gotta bear with me. The Schloss... A fucking castle! There it is. They show up at a fucking castle in a fucking helicopter. And technically, you could call that uh, Diesel Punk, because... Uh, at that time, I think it was. I think the movie is set in '44. Helicopters like what showed up in the movie didn't exist yet. Uh, there were some helicopters. In fact, the Krauts tried to make a helicopter, but it didn't work very well. And we're back from the interrupting telephone call. Ultimately, it was just somebody trying to sell sponges. Although that's not exactly accurate. Although these days you can get any sales calls with the cell phone, which if you actually are like out and you don't have and like or like in a movie and your cell starts ringing. Although I'm always very paranoid about that, so I make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, we are back and we are shooting up the Krauts. Going to be doing a and having built potentially on the Panzer Kampfwagen three. And the Panzer Kampfwagen three, of course, was a very famous tank in World War II used to good effect by the German military. It was one of the tanks that participated in the fall of France. Ultimately, by the end of the war, it was long since obsolete, but hey, it worked well enough, and I remember dying so many times with this goddamn ladder, so let's save while we're already on it. But this entire sequence here is from the, uh, movie, uh, the, uh, Where Eagles Dare, there we go. I couldn't remember for a moment. I keep wanting to say where eagles landed, but the eagle has landed is another World War II movie that's historical fiction as well, uh, where some German paratroops try to uh, assassinate uh, Winston Churchill. Uh, that's actually based on a book that I have as well. Uh, uh, it had the main character played by the now world famous Michael Caine, uh, who would also go on to play. Uh, Lieutenant something or other in the film Zulu, another movie I like a lot. Well, I like a lot of non-politically correct movies, it would seem. But where eagle, where the where eagles has landed, where eagles dare. There we go. Is a very good World War II historical fiction movie. Uh, what I do, essentially, from what I've seen of, uh, well, his Dirty Harry works different, but like his early work really showed that really had uh, shit. I mean, shot by literally everybody. Really had. Clint Eastwood basically be like 60s Schwarzenegger. He was like, where Eagles Dare, he wasn't really even the main character. He was just sort of there. And he was, was just a gun, essentially, that walked around and shooting stuff, and that was about it. But hey, it worked. And he looked like BJ Blaskowitz, too. 
And the whole, uh, the, the, basically, what Where Eagles Dare is, is basically Wolfenstein the movie, just none of the diesel punk unless you count the helicopter. That's effectively what it is. So it's like the, the non-diesel punk levels of the game, essentially. And it was very, very good. Uh, just absolutely excellent. I think was, there's like some famous lines from it that I can't remember because I am crazy. Yeah, we are fighting SS men because that's the SS helmet. Alright, so we basically do not have to feel too bad about fighting these guys because in the Eastern Front they enjoyed killing and raping and things of that nature. Which is generally not a very good thing. I remember not being able to find this back in the day. One really cool scene from Where Eagles Dare though was where Clint or BJ Blaskowitz, 60s BJ, basically uh, dual wields, and I'm t this is this predates Halo 2 being shot at by somebody, where he dual wields a, uh, a two MP40s and just uses to mow down a bunch of crowds. That was awesome. And you know what? I don't really feel bad about that. You know, yeah, we all know that these are men just, you know, going above and beyond the Call of Duty, but at the same time, no. They were the bad guys. I'm sorry. I know if you're German, it's like, how dare you, General, but I don't remember what he was saying here. Oh, yeah, that's where you got to meet the guy. Got to meet that guy, Kessler, part of the Chrysal Circle. It's crazy how uh, that's been part of the series canon for a very long time, uh, the Chrysal Circle. That's a real thing. But, yeah, like, the, the, the Third Reich, let's call it that. Were, was definitely evil incarnate. The German people, not necessarily the case, but one of the things a lot of the uh, regular army soldiers found uh, kind of a big problem with is they could fight back against their leaders and be killed along with their families. So they kind of had, it was kind of like they were, a, they were a captive audience, you know, but at the same time that doesn't really excuse it either. Ultimately, I don't really mind mowing down waves of crowds in that you know, I don't really have a choice here, you know, it's like either we win the war or the Third Reich wins, which nobody really wants to have happen. And I am General Lotz, wishing you more good, Wolfenstein, Return to Castle, or whatever makes you happy.